2024 Honda CBR650R engine and performance. There are no surprises when it comes to the 2024 CBR650R's four-cylinder engine. It's the same 649cc DOHC 16-valve unit that's been around for years, with a strong reputation for reliability. In fact, it's an engine that's increasingly being copied by brands in China as a growing number of them attempt to fast-track their move towards four-cylinder designs. If imitation is the greatest form of flattery, then Honda should be honored. Although that probably isn't quite how the company's lawyers look at the situation. The engine is tuned to put out exactly 93.9 hop, which is 70 kilobowers, a number picked not at random, but because it's the legal limit for bikes that can then be detuned to half that power level and used by riders with restricted A2 licenses in Europe. Since it's based on the older CBR600RR design, the building blocks of the engine are capable of substantially more performance, and in understressed form in the CBR66 Fever R, there's little to worry about in terms of longevity. Max power arrives at 12,000 RPM, backed up by a peak torque of 46.5 LBFT 63 NL at 9,500 RPM and is fed to a conventional six-speed transmission by an assist, slipper clutch, and regulated by Honda's simple HSTC traction control system. That transmission and clutch are unchanged even if you tick the box for the e-clutch option, illustrating how cleverly the semi-auto transmission setup is integrated into a resolutely normal powertrain. The e-clutch is, quite simply, an electronically actuated clutch, operated automatically by its own ECU and using two electric motors geared together to form a powerful servo motor that's built into a modified clutch cover. A simple but clever linkage means the standard cable-operated clutch lever still operates normally, allowing the rider to override the e-clutch whenever he or she wants. The system gets briefly deactivated by manual clutch operations, but returns to action within seconds unless consciously turned off on the dashboard. When switched off, the bike is a normal manual. There's no push button or auto gear change. You still physically clunk the ratios into position using your left foot. But a quick shifter style sensor in the linkage tells the E-clutch ECU when you make a clutchless shift, allowing it to balance the clutch engagement, ignition, and injection to ensure the smoothest possible shift, either up or down through the box. Come to a halt and the clutch is automatically dipped to prevent a stall. Open the throttle again and it smoothly re-engages to pull away. It's essentially impossible to stall the bike with the E-clutch in action. The E-clutch also has settings to alter the level of pressure needed on the gear shift pedal to start the gear change process so you can tailor it to your own preferences. And because it's much simpler and less intrusive than Honda's DCT dual-clutch transmission, it should add relatively little to the bike's price. It doesn't add much weight either. E-clutch versions of the CBR65 Ferrar are just 2 kilo heavier than the standard model at 201 kilo. There are precisely zero changes to the chassis, brakes, and suspension on the 2024 Honda CBR65 TUR, which carries over the previous generation's diamond steel frame, 41mm Showa, SFF BP upside-down forks, and linkage-operated monoshock. Adjustability is limited to rear preload with 10 possible settings. The brakes are the same four-pot radial mount Nissan calipers as before, riding on 310 millimeter discs with a single-pot Nissan at the rear and a 240 millimeter disc. There's ABS. It's a legal requirement these days, but it's not a clever cornering anti-lock system. The frame dimensions, 25.5 degree Reiki and 1450 m wheelbase are unchanged, Two, while the new CBR 67 r is a single kilo heavier than the 2023 model at 209 kilos, rising to 209 ki when the e-clutch option is fitted. The bodywork changes for 2024 include a new tail and seat unit, suggesting there may be a slight change in comfort and feel for the new CBR 65 dr but the proportions and dimensions haven't altered, so any difference is likely to be minimal.
The seat height remains at 800 mm as of last year, and the clip-on bars and foot pegs are also carryover parts, so the riding position will be familiar to existing owners. Economy is also unchanged, with Honda claiming 57.6C, 20.4 km EIL. As before, the tank is a 15.4-liter design, giving a range of 195 miles between fill-ups if you're prepared to run it dry. The biggest equipment update, with the exception of the optional e-clutch, is the new full-color TFT Dash, a 5-inch unit using optically bonded glass that minimizes glare. Like the 2024 cb 650 r that shares the same upgrade, the CBR650 RS Dash has three visual modes, bar, circle, and simple, and is smartphone compatible. Download Honda's Road Sync app to either Android or iPhone and you can connect to the bike's display via Bluetooth, allowing control of music, calls and on-dash, turn-by-turn navigation. To keep up with modern tech, there's now a USB-C socket under the seat, too. Honda is offering two distinct options packs. The racing pack adds a quick shifter if you haven't already specified the e-clutch, as well as a color-matched pillion seat cover and carbon look tank pad, plus an oil level gauge and CBR, branded tank side pads. The comfort pack includes heated grips and luggage in the form of a 3-liter tank bag and a 15-liter tail pack. 2024 Honda CBR 650R Rivals The market for sub 100 HP, sub, Pound 10K sports bikes is getting increasingly competitive at the moment, and anyone with the CBR650R on their list is also likely to be considering the likes of Yamaha's R7 or Kawasaki's Ninja 650. For 2024, the Suzuki GSX Late R is also a rival, based on the GSX Late S, but with a full fairing, and you might even be tempted by the tiny, screaming four cylinder Kawasaki ZX for RR. Yamaha R7 a price, £8,910. Power for torque, 72 point for BHP, 49.4 pound a feet e weight, 188 kilograms. Kawasaki Ninja 650 price, £7,389. Power for torque, 67.3 BHP, 47.2 pound feet weight, 193 kilograms. Kawasaki Ninja ZX for RR price, £8,699. Power for torque, 76 point for BHP a 28.8 pound feet weight, 189 kilograms. 2024 Honda CBR650R, technical specification. New price. From £8,599. Capacity. 649 cubic centimeters bore X stroke. 67 by 46 mm engine layout. Inline 4. Engine details. 16V, DOHC, 4 stroke, liquid cooled. Power. 93.9 brake horsepower, 70 kilowatts at 12,000 RPM. Torque. 46.5 pound feet, 63 newton meters, at 9,500 RPM. Transmission. Six speed, chain drive, assist is slipper clutch, optional e clutch, optional quick shifter. Average fuel consumption. 57.6 miles per gallon, 20.4 kilometers per liter, claimed. Tank size. 15.4 liters. Max range to empty. 195 miles. Rider aids. HSTC. Honda Selectable Torque Control, Traction Control System, ABS. Frame. Steel the diamond chassis. Front suspension. 41mm Showa SFFBP USD forks. Front suspension adjustment. None. Rear suspension. Linkage operated mono shock. Rear suspension adjustment. 10 stage preload. Front brake. 310 mm discs, X2, Nissin 4 piston radial calipers, ABS. Rear brake. 240 mm disc, Nissin 1 piston caliper, ABS. Front wheels tire. 12070ZR17. Rear wheels tire. 18055ZR17. Dimensions, LXWXH. 
2120mm x 750mm x 1145mm of wheelbase. 1450mm seat height. 810mm weight. 209kg curb. Warranty. Unlimited miles 2 years. Servicing. TBA. MCIA secured rating. Not yet rated. Website. www.honda.co.uk